This is how you can make a change avatar command for Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video. We can start by going over to moderation here and we can go ahead and create set avatar.js and here we can do our const slash command builder and then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get our discord.js package and we can do module.exports we can do equals we can go ahead and get our data that will be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name which is going to be set avatar just like the file name. We can go ahead and set a description which is going to be a change the bot avatar and we can add an attachment option so we can do option arrow function option does set name this is going to be avatar and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the avatar you want your bot to get and then we can go ahead and set required we're gonna make that true we can add a comma we're gonna do async execute so we can get our interaction then we can go ahead and open this up and here we can do const we're gonna go ahead and get our options then we can do equals interaction then we can go ahead and do const image equals options to get attachment and that's going to be our avatar option just like that and then we can also do const avatar equals and we can go ahead and get image.url because we're going to be getting the url to input into the avatar uh, and then we can come down here and we're going to say if and we're going to go and say interaction.user.id is not equal to and we can go ahead and get my user id so you're going to want to put in your user id in here and we can just go ahead and return await interaction.reply and we can say content and we can say only developers can use this command and we can go ahead and set inform to true now the reason we're doing this is because we'd like to make it so only developers can change the bots avatar because otherwise malicious users would basically completely destroy your bot so next we can do await interaction that defer reply and we can go ahead and set informal to true on this defer and then we can go ahead and define our client up here next to the interaction then we do await client that user that set avatar and we can go ahead and get our avatar variable just like that uh, and then all we have to do is make an embed here so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and open up our emojis so we can just go ahead and get this one and we can go ahead and say i have set the avatar to and we can go ahead and do backslash tick we'll open up our avatar and we can do that again and then we all we have to do is just go ahead and send this we can do await interaction dot edit reply and we can say embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed and then we can set informal to true and that's actually all we have to do for this entire command it's very very simple so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in our discord server we can go ahead and actually test this out so we can go ahead and do set avatar and it should load in here so we can go ahead and change the avatar of this bot now obviously i'm using a different bot because i don't want to change my verified bots avatar so we can go ahead and just use this default bot and then we can go ahead and set an avatar so I'm going to go ahead and choose a logo. We can actually start by changing this to a real logo. So let's go ahead and do the discord.js one. We can go ahead and send it. It's going to go ahead and think and then it's going to set the avatar to that link. And as you can see, that is now my avatar. So I'm going to show you what happens if we try to set an avatar here. And this time we go ahead and choose a zip file or any file that would not work as an avatar, obviously. And so we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and think. And it's going to say it's at the avatar to this but in reality it actually went ahead and set it back to default so obviously it's not going to crash or anything because it just set it back to default so if you notice that the bot went back to default it's because you uploaded an invalid file type the reason we didn't have a catch for that is because this is for developers only so it doesn't have to be super uh, self-explanatory it can just kind of work as it is and you'll be able to figure out whether or not the file type is correct by simply uploading it and checking to see if it works or not so we can go ahead and try this a few more times i'm even going to go ahead and select a gif here so you can go to our logos i believe i have a gif right here we can go ahead and send that and as you can see it's going to go ahead and change it to the gif but it's not actually going to be moving because gifs don't work for bots unfortunately even though i think discord should make that a feature for verified bots maybe add a verified bot perk or something like that uh, but we can go ahead and change it back a few more times so we can do set avatar we can go ahead and select it let's just go ahead and get the discord coding lounge uh, gif right here so we'll make like the dcl bot and it's going to go ahead and send here it's going to go ahead and think 
and in just a second it's gonna go ahead and change it over there now keep in mind this is going to be rate limited so i can basically just go ahead and change this over and over and over again it is already rate limited so what happened here is it's going to keep thinking, and if we go back into the code here, I am going to have to blur pretty much all of this out, but it does say you are changing your avatar too fast, try again later. So one thing that we could do is we could actually go ahead and catch an error, so we can go ahead and catch an error, we can go ahead and open this up, and we can do interaction.edit reply, and we can just go ahead and say content, we can say I found an error, and then we can just go ahead and pass in that error, just like that. And then we can go ahead and set informal to true. And then we can also go ahead and make this a variable. So we can do const changed equals, and we can do that. And then we can come down here, and right under that, we can say if, and we can go ahead and do changed. And we can go ahead and open this up. And we can go ahead and put all of this code inside of it like that and then we can go ahead and just say else and we can go ahead and return and do nothing so what we're doing here is we're gonna actually go ahead and check to see if it has changed to this link this avatar here and then if it has changed we're gonna go ahead and send that message and if it has not it's just gonna go ahead and return and do nothing because we've already went ahead and send a message because of that error right here we can go ahead and turn this on and try this a couple more times all right so i believe we already have the rate limit here because we got one before so we can keep trying to change it we'll change our coding lounge banner this time and this time it's gonna say i have found a error it's gonna say you are changing your avatar too fast try again later so i'm gonna wait like 30 seconds and then i'm gonna try to change it just to make sure it still works all right so we can go ahead and try this again so we can do set avatar this time we'll go ahead and get the banner again because it should work should just crop it down and as you can see it's going to go ahead and set the avatar to that banner so it is going to work how it should and it's going to give you that rate limit error if you need it but this is the only time you're going to get this error because otherwise it will just change it back to default so as you can make an advanced change avatar command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video